the AS1 has both a high pass and a low pass filter. You can use the dedicated hardware controls to adjust both filters in real time. Both filters have a cutoff control. The resonance for the low pass filter can also be adjusted. Extra controls can be found in the menu. Both the low pass filter and high pass filter have controls for cutoff, resonance, key amount, and velocity. Key amount controls how the filter cutoff frequency is affected by the keyboard. This means that the filter will be applied depending on which notes you play on the keyboard. With key amount on the low pass filter, the lower the note, the more it's filtered. With a high pass filter, the higher the note, the more it's filtered. For example, when you play lead sounds, this is useful for keeping the brightness of the sound as higher notes are played. On the AS1, you can choose between off, half, or full. Half or full changes how much the filter opens as you play further up and down the keys. If you choose off, the filter cutoff frequency is unaffected by playing higher or lower notes on the keyboard. The low pass filter on the AS1 can also be set to self oscillate and create a sine wave. Using the parameter control, scroll to the low pass filter settings, close the filter and set the resonance to maximum. Now go to the mixer section and set all oscillators to zero. As you move the low pass filter cutoff, the frequency of the sine wave will change. Go back to settings and change the key amount to full. Now when you press a key, the frequency of the sine wave will follow the key's pitch. The bass pitch is determined by the cutoff. If you're using an external velocity sensitive keyboard or controller, you can control the filter cutoff frequency with the amount of pressure you use on the keyboard. First ensure that the filter velocity is turned on. Then turn up the filter envelope amount. So when the keys are played lightly, the filter will open a small amount, but if you play the keys harder, the filter will open more. 